But first, a blow up between two Birmingham leaders at City Hall. It ended with the mayor and with one council member being taken to hospitals. What sparked it and who's to blame? Birmingham police are investigating. ABC 3340's Cynthia Gould joins us now live from City Hall. And Cynthia, do we know who is going to be charged yet? Well, Linda, since we're looking at misdemeanor assault charges, it's up to each person to swear out a warrant against the other if they want to. We are told the mayor of Birmingham is doing that right now. Now, Bell and council member Marcus Lundy got into this argument during this morning's city council meeting. We're paying 123,000. Hold on one second. Let's move for a recess, Mr. Court. And those at the meeting could hear a scuffle going on in a private room behind the chambers. Council President Jonathan Austin released pictures to the media showing Lundy's injuries. He was taken by ambulance to the hospital, Mayor Bell in his own car. Austin blamed the mayor for assaulting Lundy, saying, quote, this is not a dictatorship. It is indicative of the lack of respect, uh, the lack of, of willingness to cooperate with the council. Uh, on any given issue. I am committed to doing everything that we can as a community, as a council, to move this city forward in spite of this senseless foolishness. And we have not gotten any specific information on the injuries to either person other than those pictures we saw earlier. We did ask the attorney general's office whether either could be removed from office. They said no, only if it is a felony conviction. Reporting live in Birmingham, Cynthia Gould, ABC 3340. Released just a few hours ago, the police report on exactly what happened behind closed doors. ABC 3340's Vinton Blandin is live with more. What can you tell us, Vinny? Uh, this re police report is six pages long. It has simple information, but it's very detailed. On it, it has Mayor William Bell as the victim and Councilman Marcus Lundy as the offender. And it says Councilman Lundy is charged with assault. Now, the details in the report were given to an officer from the mayor. And the mayor says that he simply wanted to talk to Councilman Marcus Lundy. The councilman agreed. Both of them went into a room behind the council chambers, and that's where they had a conversation. The mayor says he wanted to talk about a city matter, but the councilman later changed change the subject to a personnel matter. So at some point, the councilman, he, came, he became a little louder and he started cursing, according to the mayor. And the mayor says he turned around and tried to get away from that and Councilman Lundy blocked the door. Now, Mayor Bell told the officer, according to this report, that he tried to get away two times and both times the councilman blocked him from leaving. So it became louder. And a couple of assistants who are named as witnesses in this report they heard it. They went back there, opened the door, and got the councilman off of the mayor. Now, there are some other witnesses in this report. It's one for, who's the assistant to the mayor. He says he heard the scuffle, but he didn't see anything except for all of the men standing in the doorway. Reporting live in Birmingham, Vincent Bland and ABC 3340. This fight has drawn a whole lot of harsh criticism from fellow council members, many in believing now that this leaves what they are terming the city with a black eye. ABC 3340's Edward Birch heard from council members. Edward joins us now. Edward, they had some really strong words. Absolutely, Pam. Disgusting and shameful are just some of the words used to describe this scuffle. Now, Council President Jonathan Austin, who you just heard from a little bit ago, says that this is senseless and foolish. Councilwoman Kim Rafferty says that it's time for the idiots to get out of the way so cooler heads can take care of the business of the city. And she adds that the city is hurt by all this. Councilwoman Valerie Abbott tells me that this is the kind of action you'd expect to see out of middle schoolers and not grown men because we have been working so hard to make positive things happen in Birmingham. And here we have this happen, and it's like it just wipes out all the great stuff that we're doing and makes us look like a bunch of nitwits. I'm not looking at getting into uh, National Enquirer mode on this. All I have to say is this is totally disgusting. Again, some very strong words from council members. Now, I did reach out to other council members for comment, but did not hear back. On the News at 10, we're going to hear more reaction from councilors, uh, council members, as well as some of the people that live in the city of Birmingham and whether or not they're concerned about the council to be able to work with the mayor's office moving forward. Reporting live in Birmingham, Edward Birch, ABC 3340. Hope that you will stay with ABC 3340. We will continue to follow this story online and on air as it unfolds on our website, 
we have a photo gallery from today's City Council meeting. All of this information also is available on our all-in-one app.